Ushahay. Today is Thursday. We're going to be traveling Tuesday, so I won't be able to engage with you guys, but I'll be back next Thursday in another location. So, hey, it should be fun. Anyway, good to have y'all back for another session. Hey, I want to say this. It is mosquitoes season out here right now. All right, boy, I don't know. I might have to cut this short and run out of here. No, I'm not. Hopefully they'll leave me alone. But anyway, we're going to talk about something that is the common denominator across the board for all people and nations. What could that be? What you think it is? You got it. Money. We're going to talk about money today. What is money for everybody? I mean, because money comes, like here's Lempira, Mexico pesos, America dollars. I mean, it's all different den denominations of money, like it's denominations of religion. So what is it? Currency? For what? As a means of exchange, hopefully. And yet, money have taken on a different role well, most of us, because we live in a capitalistic world where, you know, everybody is about capitalizing on everybody else. So, since we live in that kind of reality, then we have to deal with certain things that that reality brings to us, and we have to deal with that. So let me see. Money. Whether you have some, whether you have little, whether you have a lot, does that really change the state of your being? Because remember, it's not money that makes the person. The person is the person, and the money comes and shows them what kind of person they really are. I'm going to say that again. The money shows them what kind of person they really are. Person. Mind what I'm saying. Person. Now, we come to the other side of the coin. We're going to be talking about money now. But then we come to the part of ourselves that's about being. Our existence. Is our, do our existence rely upon money? For real? does it? Yet we all chase after dollars and cents. I don't care if it's yen, it's euro, it's dollars, lempira, it don't matter. That's the common denominator amongst people is money. And reality is that our true common denominator is our beingness. Are being connected on a level that most folks are not conscious on. Yet we give no credence to that. Why do I say that? Because we believe that our worth is measured by dollars. And I don't care who you are or who you think you are. When I'm talking to people over the course of my interactions, it always comes down to, yeah, I'm educated, so I make six figures. Oh, man, you know, I never got to go to school, but I make this. Man, I'm not doing none of that. I'm hustling, and I make more than both of them. So it's always come down to what? What we're making, but do, do that make you who you are? When we really think about money, we have to start changing how we see this currency of exchange. Because we're willing to, I've heard people say oftentimes, man, look, I kill somebody over my money. I mean, hear what you're saying. I will kill somebody over my money. <laughs> you know why we do that? Because we give our existence monetary value. So, we know they have people in this world that they said is worth billions. Oh, they're worth this many billions. They're worth this many billions now. Do you guys believe that? 
I mean, really, do you really believe that? Because, you know, when you do believe that, then your life becomes always reaching for something that is not going to satisfy you. Because if you really examine those who have billions, they still chasing after what? More. Why is it that they we say, oh, they're wealthy, and yet we still see them chasing after the money? What is that? You would think that a person would become what you would consider wealthy, and you won't even have to do anything but whatever you want to do. Be creative. Share it. Do whatever. Create a whole new society. That's not what happens. You know what happens? The more money you have, the more money you want. Why? Because it's all a, an illusion. It's a capitalistic illusion. And capitalism is operating all over the globe right now. People, wake up, please. Please, for your own sake. Why do I say that? Because nothing has value except that we give that thing value. All right? For instance, you have a diamond. A diamond. That's... Oh, say eight carats. That diamond is worth one point eight million dollars. Do you hear me? A diamond is worth one point eight million, and that's not even an expensive one. And I can sit here and tell you that a lot of you right now sitting here listening to what I'm saying don't consider yourself worth one point eight billion dollars. Why? Because you don't have it. So, how do you measure your worth? When you don't have what they say, what they say measures your worth. They say Jay Z's worth billions. Beyonce's worth billions. I think that is totally insane because how can you measure the worth of something that's a part of everything? We represent the universe. How do you put a price tag on that? Yet yeah, we do. You have people out there that's breaking their neck, sitting in traffic, suffering to do what? Get a dollar. To do what? Pay their bills. Why do they have them? Because they say that that's what life is all about. Acquiring you a place to live, having a job to support that. And we go through this cycle. And us as a people, especially because we have a thousand excuses as to why we don't have it. Oh, man, you know, we had to go through slavery. They always trying to keep the black man and the black woman down. And I mean, we got a whole bunch of excuses why we don't have what we consider worth. Because, you know, those that do have it, what do we do? We look up to them. Oh, you know, they worth this. We need to quit playing with ourselves, y'all. I mean, seriously. Stop. Because what happens is that you have placed worth on something that you have no control over. And the individuals that control it tell you what you're worth. I don't care if you're making 10 figures. You're still answering to somebody else. Even when you have your own business. You're still under something or somebody else. Wow. Why? Because of the idea that we've created, that we've all made reality. We've made this reality. It didn't come up by itself. We agreed to it. We agreed to something that was not agreeable to us. And yet, because of our agreement, it exists. I think, for real, we need to change our agreement. Can you guys stop for a minute? And change your imagination into a place that exists where you don't have to work. You know why? Because technology, of the which we have it up the ass, takes care of everything. It builds what we need. We tell it what to do. It helps us form, it helps us do everything. So all we do is have places where we put this and we all go and get it, ain't got to pay nothing for it. We let them build our buildings and our houses and because it's, the, it's technology, nobody has, hey, look, 
once we create it, it starts creating everything we need. Yet, that is not part of our paradigm. You know why? Because we have opted to believe the bullshit. Opted. You know, our ancestors was masters not in material. They was masters of awareness. They was masters of themselves. Yet, what do we want to do? We want to accomplish something. Say, hey, I want 10 billion for that. I want 100 million for that. And we measure ourselves by the things that we have. When the only way them things even exist is that we gave value to it. Look, y'all, there's nothing. When I say nothing, I mean absolutely nothing. Um, this physical plane that has more value than you. We put value on things that they tell us to put value on. Why? Why are we so compliant to what we've been told when inside of us we feel that goes against our very nature and we do it anyway? What are we doing? What are we really saying? I mean, when we really start to understand the power we can generate to create a whole different type of living where nobody have to work. I mean, I mean, imagine that we did not come here to work ourselves to death. To what? Eat and sleep and have a place over our head. No, that's not what we came here to do. We came here to continue creating. To continue beautifying, which was already beautiful. All we're doing is being a part of the beauty that's already here. Not taking away from the beauty, but adding to it. But what do we do? We don't care about the beauty. All we care about is dollars. All we care about is humor. All we care about is yin. And we play these dumb games because remember, what other institution you know have a world bank? They A world bank. A bank that puts money out into the whole world. Now, that is insane to me. Why? Because when you have an entity that's controlling the creation of what everybody believes they need, then that they have the ability to control your behavior, and that's what's going on. We let dollars and cents control our behavior, you know? We go to school, Tuskegee, Howard, oh, Oxford, Yale. We go to these schools, Harvard, and we and we spit these things out of our mouth. Oh yeah, I went to Harvard and I'm making six figures straight out of school. You ain't making nothing. What you're doing is slaving for a means of exchange. You have put yourself on self in slavery for what? A means of exchange. And what are you getting out of that exchange? Oh, I got me a house. I got me a car. I'm making me a family. I'm successful. Yet you don't know I, one iota about yourself. And when we didn't come here to get dollars and cents or things or gold or silver or none of that, we came here to better ourselves, to become who we really are, and to assist in everybody else becoming that so that what we can create a living space that's suitable to everybody where nobody has to be what we say without. How can anybody be without when there's all this life flourishing around us? The monkeys don't go without. My dogs don't even go without. And that we have that idea in our mind that we're going without only because we have that idea. Poor is not a state of existence. Poor is a state of thinking. We think in those terms. Oh, they have this. And I can't afford that, so I'm poor. Look, let's stop them conversations. Let, hey, people. Wake up. 
we've been asleep too long. You know, I mean, I love talking about herbs and I love talking about being in the spirit and I love talking about all these things. When I look around me, what I see in my face all the time is greed. That's a sad state of affair for us to walk around full of greed for what? Something that we created? Hey, when did that idea come that the creator becomes subjected to the creation? And we subject ourselves to our own creation. And go as far as to say, well, if we they wouldn't have did this to us, we wouldn't be in this position. No, if you wouldn't be doing that to you, you wouldn't be in this position because nobody is doing nothing to us. We do it all to ourselves. And you know what? We're doing a good job at destroying ourselves. Look, I want more than anything. I mean, I have a store that have products in it. That's not why I do that. I, I, I charge because if I gave it for free, it would have no worth. You guys wouldn't think shit of it because you guys don't think shit of yourself when you don't have money. And because it's a means of exchange, it's a means, and I'm giving you real goods for what? Your play ass money. You ever think about it that way? Because that shit no more than monopoly to me. I mean, you can take Venezuela money, it's money, and it don't mean shit nowhere. And you can have a whole lot of it. That's what I'm talking about. That's sad because why we put value on things that don't have anything to do with what we are. And we accepted that so that what we can be little puppets to those who have the money because they know. They make the money. They control the money and you want the money. So they just puppet you around. You're like, hey, I, I, look, I ain't nobody's puppet, okay? You know why? Because I know how to live in that bush. I have lived off in the bush several times. You know why? Because that bush in me is the same. Everything that I need, it has. So I'm not afraid. I don't, I'm not under the assumption that I need anything to exist. Everything that I need to exist, I have right now. And as far as I'm concerned, so do you guys have it. It's, it's that we have accepted an idea that is detrimental to our well-being. I think about all the people that died just from the stress of them working and trying to pay their bills when things are not adding up. They're working. They're getting a check. Yet, they still don't have nothing. When all their life they've been told, girl, you got to, uh, man, girl, whatever. Dude, you got to work hard. And then you can have something. You got to work hard. That is an absolute bald-faced lie. I know folks that work themselves right into the grave and didn't have shit. And I know folks who have done little of, or no work who have a whole lot of the shit that everybody think they want and they still wind up in the same damn grave. So what makes anybody better than anybody else? But I want you guys to understand this one simple thing. There's no value other than that we give something value. We are the value here. There ain't no value outside of us. Let all the people leave from this earth. None of the things that they say is valuable has no value whatsoever. It will go right back into the earth and disappear. And the earth will become as she is. Plants and animals. We saw that in that Chernobyl. Hey, the forest took it back over. Cleaned it up. So, money. The thing that, you know, we so proudly like to. I know I have buddies be like, yeah, man, I'm making them dollars. Uh, we talk to one another, be like, hey, man, what's going on? How you doing, man? Man, I'm getting that money, baby. What kind of stupidness is that? You're getting that money, something that somebody else told you had all the value in the world that you would be willing to kill over. We need to reevaluate how we've been taught. And that comes from our, you know, I've had folks sit and tell me, well, you know, 
People don't know what you're talking about. People know exactly what I'm talking about because I'm not talking to their head. I'm talking to their heart. I'm talking to their spirit. I'm talking to the part of them that can hear me. And if you can say it's dropping seeds, it's doing whatever, but I'm bringing that which is going to fortify us, not that which is going to destroy us because we've been doing a damn good job of destroying ourselves over what? Most folks that's on drugs, it's because of their idea of the lack of having the things that they think they need. So then since they believe that lie, what do they do? They soothe it out. They numb themselves to it by what? Getting high. And that's across the board. There's those that get it illegally and those that get it legally. Those that live in big-ass palatial mansions and those that live in little grass huts. It's no different. The only difference is we tell ourselves that there's a difference. Because we've been taught to do that stupidness. But there is no difference. Lost is lost. Hey, you can have all that money. And what happens when your ass gets sick and all the best doctors can't do a damn thing for you and all the spirit wants you to do is do it for yourself and you so damn stupid because you've been running after everything outside of yourself. You can't hear that, so what you do, you die. And your money can't save you. All the money you have can't save you. Money is not our salvation. We are our salvation. We better wake up to that. But we are at this point slaves to an idea. And that idea is capitalism. Everybody is trying to get something from somebody. That is crazy, man. When I mean, we should be offering to each other the knowledge that we need so that we, none of us have to do this madness. That's never a thought that crossed our mind. Hey, man, let's get together and put our thinking caps on. We have all this technology. Hey, man, let's make this technology work for us so that we don't have to do nothing but be more creative and make better technology and work with the earth to make this whole place a better place. Why that thought don't come in? Why is that thought so foreign? You know why? Because people say, man, you can't make money off that. When you don't need money, there's no need to make money. We created technology to work for us, and we don't even use it to work for us. We use it to put each other out the way. Yeah, I'm gonna get these robots, so I don't have to pay y'all to do. I don't have to pay y'all all this money to do this. So you really know less than a robot for real. Matter of fact, they feel like the robot is more valuable than you, and you are a being just like them. You know why? Because they don't see their own value. They see their value in the accumulation of money. And I can say that for a fact because had they seen themselves as a value of a being, they wouldn't treat other folks like that. They wouldn't see that. That would not even be a thought in their head. Why? Because we're all the same. We're all part of the same. And yet we have separated ourselves and have, I mean, look at the madness that's going on over there in Israel and Palestine right now. All this rhetoric about, oh, we're going to defend our part. All that is madness. That ain't got nothing to do with your existence or my existence. That got everything to do with the existence of individuals who feel like they can rule over other individuals and they bloodthirsty. Bottom line, war is for the bloodthirsty. And there's a lot of bloodthirsty individuals that we have to guard ourselves against. Yet, we take sides. That is the most concerning thing. Look, you guys want to be free? Do you really want to be free? Start changing the way you perceive resources. Because we get so caught up on the stupid stuff, it is ridiculous. I was just telling Aja last night, as a matter of fact, I said, you know what? It's funny how I used to watch the shows they showed about people who won the lottery. And how their lives become more miserable after they win the money the money that they wanted so much then they get it and then they become miserable why because they see that everybody who they loved and thought just loved them so much 
come at them a whole different way when they feel like they got something that they want. And what is that thing they got that they want? Money. So wake up, y'all. This is not uh, just a little talk that I want you guys to hear. I want you guys to start grasping things outside of how we've been taught. We look at things, we see shows about folks making money off of selling drugs. We see the result, results of all that, and yet we still glorify that. It's glorified, you know. We don't glorify the power of our spirit to transform us into beings of light. We don't glorify that. We put that in the realm of fa fantasy and superhero shit. In reality, we the superheroes. We just got lost. That's what, that's what the term lost come from. You are a lost superhero. Full of power and deny all the power that lives in you. That's what money can do to an individual. Make you put all your attention outside of yourself for what your very life's sustenance. And I'm going to be straight up with you. If I put you in that jungle, you can have $100,000 in your pocket and it ain't going to mean a damn thing when you back up in them that jungle not knowing what the hell to do. The only possibly, possible thing that it can do to help you is start a fire. So how important is it really when it comes down to life? We have gotten so detached from life that we think that that is part of life. It's not, y'all. It really isn't. And I hope with me, you know, I mean, I, can't, I, I could not sit here and speak on something that I did not see all my life. I remember when I left school, I want, to, I want to get a job that's making good money. What was that? Aerospace. I got to get in aerospace. I did the shit. Made the money. You know what? Bought brand new house, cars, all that shit. And was still the same miserable individual I was when I was trying to get it. So then, from the knowledge that I had acquired, I was like, why do I keep doing the same thing and getting the same results and still want to do the same thing to get the same results? I don't care if the result is $100 million or $10. It's still the same thing. You're going after the same thing and getting the same results. Let's change the thing that we go after. Let's stop going after things out there. Let's start going after the power that's in here. And when I say that, a lot of folks go, what you mean power in here? Yeah, if you, when you really realize what you're made of, you no longer bow down to idols and ideas and statues and shit. You don't bow to nothing. What you do is you get in harmony with everything. I know you hear that term. Yet, to be in harmony with everything means not to want anything. To understand that everything we need, we already have. And whatever the things we want, we can create. Let's get past this capitalistic mindset, y'all. Because we have put too much value on shit that we don't have no control over. Sitting there talking about, I need reparations. We don't need no damn reparations. We just need to stop and be who we are. That's reparations within itself. Because as long as we believe something, somebody need to give us something outside of ourselves to get to where we're trying to be, we ain't never going to get there. Wherever there is. So, how much time we got? Like 20 minutes. Hey, we got any questions? Anybody want to ask me anything? I'm on high right now. Y'all don't have to have none. Mm. Hey, I heard, I mean, I remember when I was growing up, we heard songs about money. Money, 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 money. Money. Some people's got to have it. Some people really need it. That's a lie. Nobody needs it. We tell ourselves because they have told us, hey, you need currency to be a nation. And who's running all this shit? 
the World Bank. Do you know any World Bankers? Is your family part of that? If not you, just like everybody else. Um, I guess this is kind of related. Somebody asked, if a war happens, what's the most important thing to buy? Again, there's war going over there in Israel and Palestine right now. Over what? Over an, over an idea that we own these lands. That's an idea. A capitalistic one. This is my country. This little piece of land right here is ours. Nobody owns nothing. When we come to realize that nobody owns nothing, we're going to be in the best place we could ever be. So when you ask, uh, what's the best thing to buy? You know, there's going to be a war. You you don't have to buy anything. All you got to do is get connected to yourself. Because when you connect it to yourself, the war is out there, not in here. So what happens? The spirit moves you out the way. You just got to be willing to hear what the spirit is telling you and act upon what it says. You don't have to spend one dime. All right? So. As far as I'm concerned, war is about the dumbest thing anybody could do. Folks sit up and call themselves intelligent. I'm intelligent. And you run in the country and, and here you want to talk about war. Oh, they attacked us. That's, uh, that's, that's just how we believe on a, that's just on a large scale. We believe that on every scale. Every scale. Why? Because we ain't scaling nowhere. We're all in the same place doing the same thing. Because when you, when you scale up out of here, when you reach a higher frequency, that ceases to exist. Yet you're right here in it, and it don't exist. That's the reality that we need to be reaching for. And that reality is right here. Infinity is all around us. The unknown touches us all the time. And yet we are totally unaware of it. So, folks, you know, it's our choice. We can keep being little minions, running after dollars and cents, being puppets and shit. Or we can wake up. All these folks talking about I'm woke. Woke to what? That you are part of a capitalistic system and you still chasing after dollars and cents? Woke to what? Hey, I'm not going to be with y'all Tuesday, but Thursday I say I'm going to be back. And we're gonna have a ball. I ain't gonna be so uh, I'm gonna be someplace else doing something different. But today, I'm all in green, see? Like the leprechaun. What the leprechaun represent? A pot of gold. And what he do for his pot of gold, he will kill you. I am not that leprechaun. I'm the opposite of that. I'm saying that pot of gold don't mean shit. But you mean everything. So Let's bring the worth back where it belongs, back to ourselves. We are the worth of the earth. Nothing that we create is worth anything except that we give it to it. So when you see something that you believe is worth more than you, you have already shown yourself that you lost in a mother. Don't be lost in this world. Don't be like Olivia. Lost and turned down for a dollar. Y'all know that song? Don't be Olivia. Why? Because we have a choice. Make the right choice, y'all. I feel this breeze. This feels good. You know what? It's agreeing with me. It's like, tell him, son. And I am. And it's just so nice. It got my camera lady over here smiling because she feel it too. And it's hot out here. So, hey, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll be back with y'all Thursday. Peace, love, and power.